Have you ever written a blog and then been frustrated that no one sees the words that you've written? Or do you wish that more people would share your content because you know those words will change the world? Well, today we're going to look at Missing Letters Curate. This is a very clever online app that has an organic community built into it that's encouraged to share your content with the world. I'm Chris from Writing Momentum, and let's jump into Missing Letters Curate. So I'm really excited to go behind the scenes and show you exactly how Missing Letters Curate works. But before we do that, let's just look here at their webpage uh, because they share six points of what their software does and I think it gives a really good overview so that you can understand exactly how this might work for you. So if you look at the, um, uh, the headline up here, you'll notice it keeps changing. It says, find the best audience for your content, find the best content for your audience. So Missing Letter has built a community where this works both ways. You can find content that is very targeted for your audience that other people have written. And you might want to do that just because you want to continue to share value, right? With those who are uh, following you on social media, part of your email list, that sort of thing. But you also want to get your content out there. And this is a way to share your content with people who specifically are looking for your kind of content, right? You're not just throwing it out there. You're actually finding a targeted audience and that's what Curate can do for you. So we notice the first point here, it says share your own content to the library. So whenever you create a blog or a video or a landing page, an infographic, an affiliate page, whatever it is you're creating, you can share that to the Curate library. And what it does is it then allows other people to find it. Point number two, find a schedule and share other people's content. So in the same way that other people might look for your content, you can look for theirs. You might put in a, a hashtag or, um, uh, you know, like for me, I might put in writing or freelance writing to try and find people in my niche that are interested in the kind of things that you know my audience is, is hungry for too, and we can let them see it. Next, choose categories that are relevant to your audience. So they've got dozens of categories that you can choose from and uh, find, again, that niche that speaks directly to your audience. You can select hashtags, which is also another way to get more granular. And you can share your, uh, your posts with an, your audience, <laughs> excuse me, in just a few clicks. So this is really cool. You'll see as we go in, it really is about one or two clicks and you can share a post on your social media with your audience. You can share it on Facebook, on Twitter, and on LinkedIn presently with just a click. It's really, really slick. And then, of course, you can watch your traffic and engagement grow. The idea being that as you share more content with your audience that you know they want, you're going to get engagement. And as other people share your content, you're going to get engagement from their audience too. So really good points here. This is what Missing Letters Curate is about. Now, just to tell you a little bit about this company, Missing Letter has been around for quite a while. I've been using Missing Letter software for a couple years. And what I love about this company is that they regularly update their products. I would say it doesn't seem like even a quarter goes by where there aren't some new features <laughs> that are in Missing Letter. Now, what Missing Letter does is it allows you to, it'll pull from your blog posts and it'll pull them right into this app and then it will create um, little social media posts that can go out all over the internet. And we'll look at that briefly too. And because with Missing Letter Curate, you also get the ability to do that on a limited scale. Now, if you want to do it on a larger scale, you can of course pay for that. Um, but really this video is about Missing Letter Curate, which you can do and just use just for what it's for. You don't have to even use Missing Letter itself if you don't want to. You can just use Curate or you can use them together. So let's take a look inside uh, behind the scenes and see exactly how this is working for me with my website, Writing Momentum. So back here under the Curate tab, we have uh, my Curate profile. This is where you can say, this is what I'm looking for. 
okay? This is the kind of things I want to share. This is where it pulls all that content for the suggested content and the other content. See, I, I told it to look at the categories blogging, editing, freelance writing, and a few others. Here are the tags I like. Here's the language I'm looking for, countries I'm based in, and the countries I serve. I could probably add a few more to that because they're countries I served. But you can choose to only show suggestions from these countries or show others. The media types I'm looking for are articles and videos and social posts. I was not looking for audio. And you can have a minimum word count. I put 400 words in there because I didn't want to have any articles that were under 400 words to share. I wanted to make sure there were meaty articles, so I, I chose that. And then finally, under that, we have the credits use this month and free credits and my curate quality score. So your quality score is how good your content is, basically how well you filled it out, that sort of thing. Um, the credits you've used this month, you can add a certain amount of posts each month for other people to share. And they do this as a way to ensure quality. You really are only supposed to share a certain amount of posts that are really good content, but you can increase that by sharing more things from other people. So I've already shared a few posts this month. If I share two more, then I will get another promotion credit where I can share another article. So if you want to share more content, you need to share more content from other people. Okay, so that's how it all works together. Then there's this calendar where you can see how things are going out. I think mine's empty right now because I don't have a lot that I've set up this month. Um, but once you do, like I said, it'll auto schedule and that sort of thing. You can see here that you can look at it on the day, the week of the month. There's several things I see that are set to go out or that have gone out. That's pretty cool. Um, uh, again, I can, uh, it says based on my plan, I can schedule up to 776,100 posts. Yeah, I haven't reached that yet. Okay. And then uh, you can filter the calendar if you want. It's got an analytics page here where you can see how people have clicked on your posts. Now, I need to tell you, I have not been using their URL shortener. I have another one that I use. So because of that, the analytics are not very good. Um, as far as what it's showing me that I've shared, they're just kind of minimal. If you share using their URL shortener, you'll get a lot better analytics. But I use another program for that and I get analytics through that. And then finally, the settings. These are where you've got all your um, uh, settings that you want for um, different things. You can change your fonts, your branding, the social profiles you use. Um, you can tell to auto schedule or not to auto schedule your posts. Uh, you can tell it um, uh, just what you're looking for, all that sort of thing. There's a lot of settings behind the scenes here. You can get very granular, very detailed um, as you do. But overall, that is missing letter curate. So if you've been trying to find a way to get your blog posts noticed, this is a great way to do it because you're connecting yourself automatically with a community that is looking for your blog posts and they're hoping you're looking for theirs. And so as you work together, uh, you can really, we can really all help bring a megaphone to what we write. So now let's go ahead and look at the pricing and the kind of deals that are out there today. So Curate's pricing, what is it? Well, normally it's about $19 a month for the plan that I just showed you that I'm on. You can pay yearly and get it for $15 a month. And then on top of that, you have to pay $490 a year or monthly $49 a month for the Curate option. But there's a stellar deal right now that's being offered through AppSumo. AppSumo is giving you both Curate and essentially the solo plan, they have a, it's a little bit different, for, are you ready for this? $59 one-time purchase for life. Okay, this is such a great deal. $59 one time and you can schedule up to 50 of your own posts, that's the missing letter plan, and 10 of your own posts for the Curate Library. You can have two social profiles, not one, but two, and you can have an additional team member like a VA or, or, a, or a spouse or a friend who you can help work on it with you. And they're letting you share it through, again, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Now, if you wanna buy two codes from AppSumo, it's the same thing, but you can share 100 posts, connect four profiles, 
and have two team members and even two workspaces. And you can purchase a lot more codes and share more profiles and all that good thing. This is only good for a little while longer, but quite a deal. Normally what costs 49 dollars $69 or so a month, about $70 a month, is available in a one-time for life purchase for $59 through AppSumo. And all you have to do is click on that link that um, you see below here, and that now it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does help me um, a little bit to be able to produce videos like this, and it'll jump you right to this deal that is really very stellar. Don't miss out on this while it's available. It may not come back. A lot of times these lifetime deals don't, so I encourage you to jump in and grab it while you can. And this is Chris, hoping you're having great momentum in your business and in your writing.